My sweet Sarah, my love bug. From the moment we met, I knew I wanted to be in your life for a long, long time. You felt like home, and I could be my complete, authentic, goofy, weird self with you. It felt like our hearts and souls recognized each other, that they had been separately singing two parts of a duet, beautiful and joyous on their own, but ready to be united to make music together. It simply felt meant to be. As a kid, you don't often think about how your younger sibling will be one of your best, best friends when you become adults, but Jackie did. Ever since she could talk, Jackie and I have spent quality time together having girl talk, which we fondly refer to as GT, discussing anything and everything under the sun. In fact, it was during girl talk on a FaceTime call when I was in the back of a cab in London in November 2019 when Jackie had some big news. A few weeks prior, she met Sarah, and Jackie couldn't wait to tell me all about Sarah's kind, wonderful heart and how she had already been introduced to Alex as Auntie Jackie. My dearest Jackie, in many ways our love story started long before we met. We both had our own roads to travel, lessons to learn, and 80s music to fall in love with. All of the twists and turns we took before meeting, the laughter, tears, celebrations and hardships have shaped us to align so effortlessly. I love you for who you have been, the stories that make up your life and how you found your way into mine at such a perfect time. With each favorite memory, loved one I meet, or sweet childhood anecdote I've heard, it's clear, if there was someone for me, you are it. Then just three years ago, we officially met in Harvard Square. With hopes high and a tugging in my heart and major first date jitters, I remember trying desperately to collect myself. However, as I approached, I couldn't help but get distracted by the lyrics flowing loudly from a nearby taxi. I've come to take you home was all I could hear. And it didn't take me long to realize that's exactly what you did. Maybe once in a lifetime, you find someone who not only touches your heart, but also your soul. Someone who loves you for who you are and not who you could be. In my life, I was lucky enough to find my baby. And I'm thrilled that Jack and Sarah have found us. We love you. I want to welcome everyone gathered here to celebrate this auspicious occasion. Whether you were local, came from near, came from far, or are joining us remotely, we invite you to take a quick moment to become fully present. Take a moment and notice all the people gathered here, friends and loved ones, to celebrate Sarah and Jackie. As we remember why we're here, let us collectively focus our love towards our beautiful couple. Wrap them in a warm, loving embrace <laughs> and let them feel the joy and the support and love for their commitment they are making to each other today. When I initially spoke to Jackie and Sarah about jointly officiating their wedding, they both spoke about the impact that music had had on the early days of their relationship. They would send songs to each other to express their growing feelings for each other without the risk of actually saying how they felt. As their relationship deepened and their love for each other grew, they continued to use music to share their feelings. Still today, when Jackie has had a bad day, Sarah will put on a song for them to dance to together to sweeten her day. To know Jackie and Sarah is to know a couple that has chosen to weave their lives together into a fabric of love and care. Enveloped in sweetness and companionship, the two of them are a team and yet hold fast to their two-ness and individuality. May your love song continue to grow and expand into a boundless symphony. May you continue to weave your lives in joyful harmony. May you serve to make life's tumults gentler. May you put down roots and nourish them together. May your branches cling to one another, wild and overflowing. May you rest in the shade of their canopy. And together, may you enjoy the fruits of life's abundant blessings. 
I got a chance to meet Sarah shortly after Jackie and Sarah started dating. Then a few weeks later, I was hosting a board game party and Jackie came along with Sarah. Now going to a board game party full of competitive strangers where you know basically no one is probably one of the most terrifying social experiences that there is. But I can tell you, Sarah slayed it. She was fun. She was social. She brought a board game that everybody loved. Green flags all around. And I could see how happy Sarah was making Jackie. Even though there was so much chaos and uncertainty in the world around us, Jackie was more confident than ever. Sarah, I am so happy that you and Jackie found each other. You are fun, kind, and welcoming. And it's clear from knowing you and from knowing all of your people just how much you brighten all of their lives. Jackie, we are a long, long way from eighth grade. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> We've both changed a lot. And it's been an honor and a privilege to be your friend for 15 years and to see you become more confident and to realize and pursue the things and the people that you love. Having someone like Sarah work for you is really good for me. Like it made, she made me look so good. Like people would come up to me and say, oh, congratulations, Patty. Sarah just did this great presentation in there. <laughs> like, well, thank you. You know, I, I had nothing to do with it. We worked really closely together for about three years. Um, where we sat next to each other. We got into this routine of what we call the daily check-in. And it was kind of what you would expect, right? It would be, you know, what you, what you have for dinner? What did you watch? Did you go out? And then over time, the, the check-ins changed, though. Um, it, well, when it used to be a variety of, of um, topics, it became a single topic, like every day. Jackie. <laughs> Jackie, 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 Jackie. Last night, this is what we did. Jackie said this, Jackie said that. I mean, I loved it, you know, but I, I actually, you know, I haven't met Jackie, and uh, but I know a lot of things about you. Like, I know when you were trying to learn how to rollerblade, and Sarah was really worried about the elbow pads and the knee pads, and, and, and then tomorrow we're going to go across the street and, we're, and try in the park with all the other children, <laughs> you know? Um, so, Jackie, Sarah loves you so much, and I heard all about it at check-in. <laughs> Jackie and Sarah have each written their personal vows they wish to share with each other. Jackie will read her vows to Sarah first. Sarah will then read her vows to Jackie. I knew I wanted to spend my forever with you just 48 days after meeting you, and I have had that thought every day since then. And here we are. You are my perfect match. You make everyday moments extraordinary. I love your knack for making me cackle, howl, and double over with laughter on a daily basis. I love how you pull me in close for slow dances and twirls in the kitchen. I love how you make sound effects for everything. <laughs> I love how you turn mundane tasks into raging dance parties and sing-alongs. I love how you know exactly how to love me. I am so proud to love you and to be loved by you, to grow and evolve with you. I promise to be intentional with my love, to always give you my best, to hold your heart gently and with care. I promise to always keep your water bottle filled with ice water, <laughs> to keep up our Duolingo streak with Italian, to keep making new songs and jingles with you, to laugh uncontrollably with you, to be your Remy Cube partner for life. I promise to tend to your garden, to bring a smile to your face, to share in your successes and to lift you up in your challenges. I promise to profess my love to you louder and louder each day as a crescendo that never ceases, amplifying for eternity. I'll always be your love bug. Now fast forward just 13 thrilling days to our fifth date, <laughs> specifically the moment you told me your sweater was from the men's department. <laughs> it may seem silly, but in that exact moment, I had a sudden sensation of falling, with my legs weak and my heart floating away from me. Every day since then has moments that leave me feeling that exact Many of them as quick as a glance, as sweet as the infinite ways you care for me, or as memorable as when we kiss. These tidal waves, as we've coined them, are daily reminders of how much I love exactly who you are and the ways you show for yourself, for me, and for us. 
As for our beautifully bright future, I believe to commit to each other forever requires adaptability and curiosity as we both grow and explore ourselves and the world around us. I can say without a doubt, I will continue to fall even more with who you are becoming. I promise to make space for your voice and your boundaries, to enthusiastically support your goals, aspirations, and growth, to be your cheerleader both during your training and at the finish line, to keep us laughing until our stomachs hurt, <laughs> to play the soundtracks to your favorite musicals when you're down, to consciously keep romance and affection in our everyday, to add new songs to our playlist, to dance around our home together just because, to be the grocery shopper of our family, <laughs> to approach every interaction with gentleness and care, to give my love and respect to your chosen family, to continue looking inward and working to be my best self, and to always stay curious about you and the beautiful person you're becoming. Jacqueline and Sarah, having proclaimed your love for and commitment to one another in the presence of your family and friends, and by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, it is my thrill, joy, and pleasure to pronounce you married! Yay! <laughs> Mazel tov.